copying objects using the array option using the array option of the copy command we can create a linear pattern so we're going to go up to copy we're going to select the objects we're going to hit enter we're going to pick a base point I'll pick this corner here down on the command line we have an option called array I'm going to click on that and it says enter the number of items to array I'm going to say I want six of them I'll hit enter now you can see that I have six items uh, total that will be arrayed. It's asked me for the second point. So I'm going to pick a second point and I'm actually going to say, you know, I want them five inches apart. I'm going to hit a tab and I want them at 10 degrees and I'm going to say enter. And now to exit, I'm going to hit enter. So I just made six of them five units apart at a 10 degree angle. All right, let's undo that. Let me do that one more time. I'm gonna go up to copy, select the items, pick a base point, choose array, number of items I want, I'll say I want five of them. Hit enter. And notice now it's giving me a total of five, right? If I want them to be in a straight line, I can just put it on, have it on the tracking line there, or I can graphically place them wherever I want, or I can key in values. So let's say I wanted them six inches apart. Um, I can just come over here and say I want six, hit the tab key, and say I want zero degrees, and boom. And now at the exit, I hit enter for exit, and now I've created them six units apart at the zero degree angle. So the array option builds a linear pattern of selected objects. They're all still individual items, right? Uh, they're all individual items, but it allows us to quickly build a linear pattern.